Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Thursday, March 31st, 2016, around 7.11 in the morning in Berwick, Massachusetts. Sunny day out, going to be close to 70 today. Rain showers tomorrow. Some news to report. The San Antonio Spurs now are 38 and 0 at home. That's the best start by any NBA team at home to start the season. And the Philadelphia Flyers beat the Washington Capitals in a shootout by a score of 2 to 1, and that mathematically eliminates the Ottawa Senators from Stanley Cup playoff the contention, and it also means that all Canadian teams are shut out for Stanley Cup playoffs. And it's going to be 23 years, at least, since Canada has won the Stanley Cup. And it's happy National, po National Prom Day. And that's about it on the news. My first video blog subject of the day is the continuation of the top 100 grades situation comedies in television history. Today is from number 70 to 61. And here they are. Number 70 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, Ellen. Starring Ellen De DeGeneres, this lasted for about five years on ABC from 1994 through 1998. Towards the end of the series, they had an episode when, where Ellen came out, which was real, real popular. Number 69 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, The Larry Sanders Show, starring Gal Gary Shanley as a fictionist talk show host named Larry Sanders. It was part talk show, part sitcom. Also, Jeffrey Taubin was a sidekick. It was a very funny show. It lasted six years on um. HBO and the reruns were in syndication, but they were edited down, and they took off, off the like the adult language. Number sixty-eight on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time: Boy Meets World. Lasted several seasons on ABC. It starred Ben Savage. It was a boy who like met the world. It was funny. It was a stronghold on the TGIF lineup on ABC in the mid-90s. Number 67 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, Park and Recreation, starring Amy Palmer, Paula, who was, like, um, playing Leslie. She was a Parks and Recreations director of a fictional city. It was based on kind of on Hillary Clinton, which was a funny show. It lasted six seasons on NBC. Amy's so funny, and she's from Burlington, Massachusetts. Number 66 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, Hazel. Hazel lasted five years on NBC and CBS. It was about uh, living maid. Shirley Booth starred in it. It was awesome, very funny. It also starred Whitney Blake. And reruns of Hazel are on Antenna TV. Number 65 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, 227. 227 lasted five years on NBC between 1985 through 1990. It was set in Washington, D.C. about apartment building style, styling Marla Gibbs and Hal Williams and Jack A. Harry and Sandra. She was really the star of the show. They were going to put a spinoff for Sandra at, at the end of season four, but when they did a backdoor pilot for it on 227, the ratings of that show tanked. And, and Jack A. left after season four anyway, and that show jumped the shark. Number 64 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, The Steve Harvey Show, which lasted on the WB for many years in the 90s. It was about a single father, Steve Harvey, and it was an awesome, awesome show. And you could watch reruns of it on BET and Centric. Number 63 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, 
Dama and Greg, starring Jenna Elfman and Thomas Dick Gibson. It lasted five seasons on ABC between 1997 and 2002. It was about a couple that got married on the first day, and they were complete opposites, and, and they had very good chemistry, and it was a very, very funny show. Wish it lasted more more seasons. This was probably Jenna Elfman's most famous role to date. Number 62 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, News Radio. News Radio lasted six seasons on NBC between 1995 and 1999. Um, Dave Foley was in it, and Andy Dick, Joe Rogan, and Phil Hartman. It was a it was the antics of a fictionist news radio station. This was Phil Hartman's last role before he got passed away in 1998. And after he passed away, the show was not the same. And number 61 on this list of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, Spin City. Spin City starred Michael J. Fox. It lasted from 1996 through 2002. Michael J. Fox was in for about four years. He was like, did something with politics there, won a camp campaign. It was so funny. He left the show after the fourth season because of his battle with Parkinson's and then Charlie Sheen took over for him but the, but it was not as funny with Michael J. Fox and it got cancelled in 2002 and had the Locklear join the cast in 1999 which was pretty good, cool and that's about it on this list tomorrow will be from number 60 to number 51 I will be back later Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Google Plus with two more video blogs. One will be about the top candidates for the NHL's Hot Trophy League MVP and the third and final video blog of the night, the power rankings for NBA teams April 2016. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunning guy. Molly Roseblood with WCCO accent has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatso so sunny and she has nice legs as well. Amy Swensey rocks. And Bob Gibbs of ABC 11 has that sweet southern accent. And in the words of Dee Patel last week, no boss, have a good day.